Okay, and they and they've done this they've done this more than once. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just walk through so I make sure I have your complaint as you described it. Uh, you told me that basically your son uh, is 19 years old. You live in Memphis, Tennessee, and whenever your son leaves the house, he's being pulled over, confronted, and threatened by the police. Is that right? Yeah. Uh huh. Okay, and that it's often the same officer who's doing it, correct? Yes, often it is, because that's the one that's on his beat. Okay, and are the officers, you said the last time that they, that they stopped your son, describe that incident again. Tell me what happened that was so offensive to you. They told you to leave, correct? Tell me what they said to you. And use the, yeah, use the exact language that the officers used. Okay, I walked down to the police car and I asked the officers, I, it was a male officer and a female officer. I asked the male officer, I said, what has my son done? And he was very polite, he told me, he said, your son hasn't done anything. We're just checking him out right now. At that moment, the uh, female officer jumped out of her car and she was getting right in the back of me because I was talking to him. And she jumped out the car and, and she told me, she said, this is not none of your concern right now. I said, yes, it is my concern because that's my son. I said, but this officer told me he hadn't done anything. She said, well, I'm going to take him to jail and uh, you can leave. I said, no, I can, I can step away from the police car, but I can't leave until I find out what y'all are going to do, do with my son. And she said, it ain't, the, it ain't your business what we're going to do. You just go home. You know, and I thought that was real rude, you know, because she could have talked to me because, you know, I'm 56 years old and I got respect for the police officer. Right. And she could have respect for me because I am a taxpaying citizen. Do you, did, you, know, you, did you get the officer's name, the one, that, the female officer who said that? No, I didn't get her name, but what happened when I called the lieutenant, the lieutenant Paris, he found out who they were. Mm -hmm. And he said that she was off of her beat. She wasn't supposed to be over here. But, you know, it don't matter, you know, they're a police officer, but the only thing I'm concerned with is that every time, you know, what if my son was going to church one Sunday in his, in his church suit? Mm -hmm. And he get thrown down in the dirt before he get up the street to the church. Mm -hmm. It's just awful. Mm -hmm. Right. I was in the store the other morning in his pajamas. Just got him up out the bed, took him to the store. A young man from around the corner came, drove over to my house and told me they got your son up there by the store. He was two feet walking to the store, from getting to the store, and they got him sitting on the ground in handcuffs. And what are they What are they asking him when they pull him over like that? Do they have particular questions, or is it just they kind of a general shakedown? They ask where you supposed to be, what you got in your pocket. They search his pocket. And he don't have no drugs or nothing, in it, but they, they just interrogate him, you know, just doing bad. Okay, and, and you're say, you said you say you say he, he doesn't have a criminal record, is that correct? He ain't never even been on the inside of a jailhouse. Okay. He done been in the police car a hundred times. Okay, so they keep stopping him and checking him, but they don't really have any crime that he's involved in, and they ultimately have to release him anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay. They let him go. Okay.